Well, I venture to say it's probably one of the most fun. And yes, I did say fun when it comes to cleaning around your outdoors. And that is when you have a pressure washer. I tell you, pressure washer is like magic. It can get that dirt, it can get the moss, it can get the gunk, it can get the mud that's been on the ground all fall and winter and it gets it off when it's powerful enough, and this one is, it can get it off in seconds without you having to scrub. And it's all the power of the pressure of the water. So this is from Karcher. It is 1800 PSI, uh, pressures per square inch. And uh, it's really simple to use. You don't need gas, you don't need fumes, you just plug it in and go. Um, it's, you can move it around on wheels so it's not, you don't have to pick it up or anything like that. You've got significantly more pressure than a standard garden hose. Yes, even if you put your finger, your thumb <laughs> over the front of the garden hose. And you get all of the tools that you need. Now, Craig, Craig Rapiana is joining us this morning to give us all the details. And Craig was saying he loves to use this too. I've always got the biggest smile, right? Because this <laughs> is my favorite tool of all time. I love Karcher. I mean, this is a company that's been in business for over 75 years. And it's really, like you yeah. said, it's simple and easy. I have the wand. All I do is point to where I want to clean and pull the trigger. Look at this. And I'm going to just do a little spot here because I want to show you straight away. Look at this. This is an old wooden fence. And you can see how quickly it just gets straight in there and it starts cleaning because that's what you're getting. You're getting 1,800 of PSI, which is that Karcher power that we're talking about. And really, when you, when you put 1,800 PSI power into perspective, it means clean because... Actually, that's a funny thing. Karcher mm -hmm. means the word clean. Mm. Isn't that fantastic? That's fantastic? But look at this. This is a solid wooden fence, so if you are thinking about removing that fence, don't remove it. Give it a clean first because you can clean this, you can let it dry, it'll stain. I mean, you'll be able to stain it as well, which would be great. Now, talk about pavers. You can get straight in there because whether you've got concrete driveways, you've got that really hard, stubborn areas, all you do is point and you simply Pull the trigger, now you can bring all those pavers back to life. You can get rid of all that dirt, all that grime, all that algae, all that mold. Even some of those bird droppings. Now, when you think about this, think about Karcher. They clean famous monuments, they clean Mount Rushmore, they clean the Space Needle and the Statue of Liberty with this Karcher technology. And you're getting this in your home. This wow. is German engineering, German technology, and you can see what you're getting with the results as soon as you turn it on. And that is what, that's why I said it's gonna be actually fun for you to use because you're literally bringing something back that you thought was beyond repair, like those old fences. You thought you had to replace it. Maybe you moved into, or you know, you're, you're looking to move into a new home and there's that fence along the back lawn and you're thinking, gosh, how much is that gonna be to replace? clean it first. Or if you're selling your home, clean everything. <laughs> and this is the way that you do it. I tell you, it is going to be the best tool that you have because you, you can clean furniture, you can clean the ground. And look at the difference between your pressure washer and a regular garden hose. Yeah, this is always a, tr a tricky one to do. So I'm gonna turn that off and stop because I really wanna show you the biggest myth of all. Does a pressure washer use a lot of water? Look at that. That's over 80% oh less water. <laughs> what? So In not only are you cleaning your driveway, your pathways, your wood fences, your siding, your, I'm gonna show you how to clean your car and that grill for those shrimp on the barbie. But look at that, <laughs> look at how much water you're saving. That's really impressive, right? That's yeah. what you're getting with the Karcher Power. Now, I'm gonna shoot over here and I'm gonna change this out because you're getting two wands and all you do is you've got this little clip right here, and clip it in, you remove that out. I'm gonna change this to the Dirt Blaster. I call it the secret weapon because it just annihilates everything. You've got the pressure, 40 to 60 PSI is what's gonna come from your driveway, from your garden hose. It hits in here, it hits 50 times the power. Now, take a look at the end here. I wanna show you the spiral system. See that spiral system? Right, when I take that and put it on the block, I'm gonna stand back here because look at this. Nothing stands a chance. Look at that. These are your garden blocks, and if you've ever looked at your garden blocks lately and realized, I need to replace them, I need to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Think twice, this is gonna save you money, it's gonna save you time because you're not having to replace these. You can see, if your garden blocks look like this, they're gonna look like this by just simply 
pointing and just pulling the trigger. Very this. true. And this is the thing. I know when we bought, you know, our garden stones and our stepping stones, we bought a, a specific color because that's what we wanted. But if you don't clean them, then the reason you bought them kind of starts to fade away, right? But if you can clean them this easily without having to scrub, without having to use a lot of your own energy, you're literally using the power of water. Now, you could, if you wanted a pressure washer that you wanted to pay more for, or was bigger, or was heavier, or was louder, you can always find those. I like that this one doesn't involve any gas, any fumes. You just plug it in and go. It's on four wheels, not two, but four wheels so that you can easily move this around and it doesn't take up a lot of space when you're not using it when you want to store it in your garage. We're going to go over and show you more, but take advantage of the flex pay and the free shipping that we've got. So take a look at this. So if you want to do some siding and you want to do whether it's stucco, whether it's plastic, whether it's metal as well, one of those old sheds, you can get in there and just really get all that dirt and all that grime off because that's what you're getting with a pressure washer. You're getting the power. I'm going to shoot over here and I'm going to come straight down. You can see all the dirt just doesn't stand a chance. But the one thing I want to show you about Kartra is because some of you might be thinking you've never used a pressure washer before. We were always like that. You know, I'd never used a pressure washer at top a few years ago, but take a look at this. It has an adjustable wand. So if you've never used a pressure washer before, you can turn that gauge. So take a look at this. I'm gonna put on the low setting. See the pressure? It's like a gun hose. But as you get comfortable with it, you can start to increase it and you can really just turn that right up to that 1800 PSI of power. And that's really, where all the cleaning happens because once you get over a certain PSI pressure, it starts just cleaning everything. And I'm not using any chemicals. This is just straight water. Yes, and that is that is what you, it, it's kind of hard to believe because there is no chemical in this. There is no soap in this. It is just the power of the pressure of the water. And just like Craig showed you a little bit earlier, you're not using more water with a, with a pressure washer than a garden hose. You're actually using less because it's actually more efficient. And this is how you do it. I, I know you can do this. And for all of the ladies who are watching and you're thinking, I don't know if I can handle that. You can. I'll tell you. I have a pressure washer at home. My husband and I have one, but we don't, we have an older one. It requires gas. It puts out a lot of fumes. It's very heavy and it costs a lot more than this. And I'll tell you what we had to get it fixed um, recently and it cost about the price of a few flex payments to get it fixed. Think about this. This is something you own and it could not be easier. I just love that there are no fumes so you can use this anytime. And it's not nearly as loud as a lot of other pressure washers too, I will tell you that. We're gonna go on, um, you know, Craig is gonna show you more about how you can use this, but we've already done the, the fence, the pavers, the, the, the side of the house. Yep. Craig, where are you now? So I'm outside because I really wanna show you the wheels. Take a look at the wheel action. As I pull this, this is why it's called the follow me because it's going to follow you now you've got the large wheels at the back and these one rotate 360 degrees let me get in close and i want to show you these are going to rotate 360 degrees so it's going to go over all those different obstacles but it's really so comfortable so easy to pull so if you want to come over and start doing the truck and the cars you can simply just start pointing and cleaning. Now, I've got it on the low setting as well because if you put it on the low setting, you're going to get a little bit of soap that's going to come out of there. See how that soap comes out? I'm not putting my hand in a bucket. I'm not putting it on the sponge, going onto the car, transferring that dirt back. And then when you really want to clean it, look at the power. You can really get this truck nice and clean. Notice I'm not getting dirty. I'm not getting any water on me. That's the great thing about it. You're going to get a nice clean finish. Now, I'm going to shoot over here because you've got that old chili bin or cooler that you want to clean off. Look at all the dirt flying anywhere. I'm not getting any dirt on me. It's just bringing it up nice and clean and getting it ready for the summer season. Hey, what about some shrimp on the barbie, mate? Look at this. <laughs> you want to clean this. This is one of the dirtiest things I find around my home because we just sort of cover it up as the winter comes in, and but now we've got to get it going. You got some siding on the outside of the house. You can come straight in here, and you can reach quite a bit. You can get a good nine feet right there, and you can clean the gutters. You can clean all the way down the side. So whether it's plastic, whether it's wood, whether it's tin or even stucco, you'll be able to really clean this off, really. And I'm going to show you. 
That's the difference. You can really get all that dirt. So think about the mud season. Think about the season as it's changing. All that dirt and dust is going to be left behind. This is how you get rid of it. Yeah. And you can see, did you see how easy that was for Craig to do? I mean, literally, it's going to be just as easy for you. And, and I'll tell you, the learning curve on this is a one-time use. The first time you use it, you'll say, oh, I get it. Oh, now I understand how it feels. It's not going to be the kind of thing that kind of gets away from you or it's too powerful for you because you can control initially how much pressure comes out. All you do is kind of dial it up or dial it back. It's really as simple as that. On the side of our house, if you're thinking about painting your house um, this spring, the first thing the painters have to do is pressure wash the house. That's one less step that you have to pay them to do if you can do it yourself. Um, and the fact that it's so efficient and effective is what you're going to love. We're going to go, show, Craig, tell us what you're showing us here. So I really want to show you the biggest myth of all, if you're just tuning in, is that, you know, we all thought that pressure washers use a lot of water because it just, it fires out, it's faster. So I really had to put this to the test. So I basically got myself two canisters here. I'm filling up the water in one side. I'm gonna turn that off, and I put the pressure wash in the other. Look at the difference, <laughs> over 80% less water. So when you use a pressure washer around the home, you're saving money because you're saving money by not using all this water, and then you're saving money by not having to replace the pavers, yep. replace all the stone, the pavers, and you can just simply walk straight up. So I'm gonna head back over here to the fence because I gotta finish it off. And all you do is point and clean. It's really that simple, that easy. And remember, you've got this variable wand, so if you want to turn it to a low setting to try it out, look at that. See the pressure that's coming out there? Now I'm gonna do it here. See there's nothing happening on the fence right there? Watch as I turn this up. See it start to move? And then you get straight into it. That's yeah. completely taking all that dirt, taking all that grime off. This is bringing it back to its natural Beauty, that's a beautiful looking fence. Yeah. Why throw it away? Save some money, let it dry, you can restain it. Yeah. Or just make it look natural, it looks beautiful. It's all a great we're... curb appeal. It's true, and all we're doing is cleaning it. You're cleaning what you already have instead of throwing away and rebuying things. And that's really, you know, the, the overall money savings of this. You're getting a great deal here, but the overall money savings will be all of the things that you don't have to replace. All you have to do is clean. You know what I also use my pressure washer for is cleaning my outdoor rugs, uh, you know, my outdoor rugs that just get real grimy and they're very textured. The pressure of the water can get into all the little grooves, whether it's the outdoor furniture, the outdoor rugs, whatever it is, whatever you have this pointed to, you can expect clean on the other end. And you notice it doesn't take a long time. Yeah, that's the great thing about it. So Smooth, so simple, and and, and what? Take a take a listen to this. See, it's quiet. Yes. And we're spraying at three o'clock here. We're not waking up the neighbors. That's the beauty thing about <laughs> it is you can get it. Have a cup of tea in one hand. Right. But you can clean the pavers. You can clean the driveways. Clean the stone. I mean, I use it all the time. I don't have uh, spouting around the side of my home. So whenever the season changes, I always get that algae and that green line around the outside of the home. Yeah. I just get out and do this because. You know, I was, I was, I was watching, I was looking at some reviews earlier on and, 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 and um, a couple of people mentioned that they didn't have to rely on people to come and do this. This is really such an empowering tool, but it actually does what it does. The minute you get it in your hand, point and pull the trigger, that's all you have to do to turn your papers it. like this. And you're saving money. These are around $6 a piece. I've replaced a lot of them in my past for other clients <laughs> because they didn't want to clean. If you clean them, you'll save money, you'll save time. And Craig, I'd love for you to show us how it's yeah. connected right back there. So you've got your little hose connection right here at the back, but I'm gonna show you up the front. This is all gonna come as one sit. You've got your on and off right here. You've got a little canister in here. Now you can put your soap in here as well. You can put any sort of, if you've got some sort of flavor, some mixture that you like. My wife's into organic stuff right now, mm -hmm. which is great. It smells good too, and it's mm -hmm. safe, because we've got little kids. But just put soap detergent in here, dishwash liquid, anything you wanna do. And remember, once you turn this down to the low setting, it's gonna pull that soap from there as well. So you have the option to clean with soap, and you have the option just to clean with water, and that's the great thing about this. Yeah, definitely. You pl plug one end to the wall and one end to the, uh, to the hose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they've got the 360 wheels. I sometimes forget about this. So these front wheels are 360 degrees spinning, so it's gonna maneuver over any type of 
obstacle that you want. The large wheels are at the back, so it's going to give you that extra strength to go over. But it's really lightweight. Yeah. It's I easy. Put in the RV, take it to the cabin, take it to the cottage, take it wherever you want to go. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's what we're, that's why, and I'll tell you, I've used it, I've used a lot of heavier ones, I've used a lot of bigger ones, I've used a lot of more um, cumbersome ones, and I, and I think that's why I get excited about this one, because I know it's effective, but it's not as hard to use as many of the other ones as you've, you know, maybe you've even seen. And if you just wanted to pay more, I'm sure you could find others out there that you can just pay more for. If you just wanted more hassle, you could find the ones that require you to go and buy gas and have fumes and have to, you know, wear a mask when you're using it. And, you know, you, you can't use it on certain days because you're going to wake up the whole neighborhood. This one could not be easier. And it's called the follow me, just like Craig said, because you just pull it and it follows you right on wherever you're going around the entire house, even to the, even to the roof. So Craig, I'm going to turn it on over to you because okay. um, I'm going to run to the next studio, but I know that there's more to, to show. Yeah, I'm going to get in and finish off these blocks because that's one thing. Once you start things, you want to do things around the home. So I'm going to just point and spray. And that's the beauty about this is you can just clean any type of paper, any stones. And these are hard landscaping blocks. So look at this. I'm going to take all that dirt off. It's moving really